everyone, it's Diana Minerva. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a make for this fabulous buttery top. Now, as you can see, there are different variations of neckline that you can make with this top, but we're going to be making version C. So it's the V-neck version right here. And what we're going to be using today is this beautiful Minerva exclusive range of viscose chalet fabric. And this particular design is called Here Kitty. So as you can see, it has a wonderful line design. So it's a sort of graphic design of a cat all over it in red, off-white and a grey. And it's on this deep navy background. So it's really unusual. Now, should you wish to sew along with me today, everything will be tagged below. So you'll have everything you need to get started. Wash and prepare your fabric before we begin. This ensures that any shrinkage occurs now and not later on. Then when you've done that, you're going to take a tape measure and locate the sizing on your back of your packet. And when you've done that, we're ready to begin cutting our pattern pieces. So let's go and do that together now. Here are our pattern pieces for our top. So this is your front piece for A, B, C and D. And you're going to cut two pieces in fabric. Now, if you're making version B, you will also want to cut two in lining as well, but we're making version C. So two in fabric. This is your straight grain. You can lengthen or shorten at this point here. Here is your V-neck line. Make a note of your circles and your markings, your notches here and here. Then we have the back piece. Now again, you're going to cut two pieces. This is your centre back point your straight grain, again lengthen or shorten at this point and make a note of your markings. Here we have the yoke back for version C. This is your straight grain here. Make a note of your notches. Now you're ready to begin making your top. So first of all you want to wind half of your thread onto your machine spool and check that your needle is sharp. Now I'm using a universal standard size needle 70 today. You may wish to test this on a piece of scrap fabric. Then when you've done that, we're going to take our front pieces of our top and we're going to stitch down the front seam. Now we're doing this to the point where we have our circular marking just here. But what I'm going to do before I begin, I'm going to just overlock down the edges, the raw edges of each side, first of all. I like to do this sometimes before I begin and then it's nice and neat when you press that seam open. So let's do that first of all. So I'm just taking off just a tiny slither of the edge so it doesn't interfere with the seam allowance at all. So right size facing like this, pin it in place. So just here, look, is my little circular marking. We're not going to go past that. We want to leave that open because that's where it'll turn back at the top there. So pin down your front seam and we're going to stitch this in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now I'm also overlocking along the top of the yoke pieces. Now this is for the back. Make sure that you've got the shoulder. So check that you have the marking here. This is the V at the back, this point just here. And I'm just overlocking along that edge so that it's ready to attach at my shoulder points. So here you have your front piece opened up, right side facing up. And these are your two back yokes. So they're facing right sides together with the front piece and we've attached them here at the shoulder. So pin it all the way along, matching up your notches and we're going to stitch this shoulder seam in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now at this point we're going to finish the back neck edge and the front neck edge with a narrow hem. Now to do this, you may want to turn it on twice and press it with your iron like this. So you've just got a tiny hem. It helps sometimes if you press it because it makes it easier to stitch. 
Alternatively, you can overlock it and just turn it over the once with a small hem. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to overlock it because I think that'll just give it a nice flat finish. It's a light fabric, it's a summery top. It'll keep it nice and light around that neckline. So I'm going to overlock it first of all, then press it back and then stitch my neckline. Again, just take care how much you're taking off if you are choosing to overlock it. It wants to be just a tiny slither off the edge because we don't want to lose too much here. It does only allow for a small hem at the neck. Now hem your neckline. Now pin your centre back pieces together down the centre seam like this with right sides facing. We're going to stitch this with a 1.5cm seam allowance. I've overlocked my seams again before I begin. So that's ready to press out nice and flat once this seam's in place. Back tight to begin. Next you're going to line up your back yoke with your bottom back. Now here is your centre back seam here and here are the two pieces of your yoke. Now they cross over as you can see at the centre point and you want to make sure that where they cross just there is in line with your centre back seam. Also make sure that you have your notches either side here and here lined up. And when you've pinned it all the way along, we're going to stitch that in place. Next, we're going to pin our underarm seams. So right sides facing, and at this point, you can also add a Minerva Maker label. These say hashtag Minerva Maker on the back, and you can just add them in at the side seam if you wish, or you could put it in the back of the neck if you prefer. Now to hem your sleeves there is a 1.5 centimetre hem allowed so I'm doing a double fold turning it under as I go you can press it before you begin if you wish or you could edge stitch it or overlock it if you want to just do a single fold So here is the finished top, has a nice lovely loose fitting shape to it, I think it'd be perfect for the beach, going over a swimsuit also, it dips down look at the back, and then you've got the nice yoke detail with the V again at the back. Well I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today, I've had fun making this top, please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs how you got on. We always love to see what you've been making. And remember to take a look at the Minerva Craft Club to get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. And also like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Now, next time you make this, maybe you could do it with a contrasting panel at the bottom and a collar. Or maybe do a lined version in perhaps a crepe de chine or a chiffon, something lightweight like that. There is the option to make it with the lining pieces. So there are lots of ways you can change this up and come back to it again and again. I think it's a really good one for a beginner. So it'd be nice to give with some fabric and some notions as a present for maybe a birthday or Christmas. That would make a really good beginner sewist gift. Now, if you like what I'm wearing today, this particular pattern is Birda 6313. And I'm wearing this cover version here in a broadery anglaise in case you're interested in making this. I will link these products below as well. That's all from me for today, but thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.